Ever wonder what it takes to get your water ICP analyzed? Are you interested to see a step-by-step -step process? Stay tuned. Today on this episode of CVTV, we go on location to share the ICP testing process and how it works. Inductively coupled plasma, also known as ICP, is a state-of-the-art instrument that can test different elements in salt water. It is a different approach from traditional saltwater testing, which is done by using titration or photometer testing equipment. ICP testing offers unmatched results even on elements that cannot be tested with off-the-shelf testing kits. As a reef hobbyist, the number one job is to maintain water quality. This means not only keep pollutants in check, but also maintain proper levels of trace elements and amino acids available in the water for corals and fish to intake. The process starts by placing a water sample in a test tube that is then loaded into an auto sampler. The sample contains water which is drawn directly from the hobbyist aquarium. The auto sampler uses a probe that automatically pulls water from the test tube and into the ICP machine. The ICP machine uses a three-point calibration method, which is executed every nine tests. The probe draws water from three different calibration solutions, which come from a government-certified lab, ensuring that every test is as accurate as possible. Using a peristaltic pump, the water sample then makes its way from the auto sampler into the nebulizer. The nebulizer turns the water sample into a mist of tiny droplets that can be easily introduced into the torch. The torch is a chamber filled with argon gas and wrapped by a coil. As the coil induces a magnetic field, a plasma is created that can reach temperatures between 7,000 and 10,000 degrees Celsius, well above the temperature of the surface of the sun. The water sample goes into the plasma, which atomizes the electrons, exciting them into a higher state. As the electrons fall back into normal state, they release energy in the form of a photon, which is inversely proportional to the wavelength of such element. The light emitted by all the elements is then separated by a group of prisms, making it easier to differentiate between each of the elements. Finally, the light is captured by a group of cameras from different angles. The cameras capture the intensity and the different wavelengths that make up the light. The wavelength allows us to separate the different elements present, and the intensity of each wavelength allows us to compute the concentration of such element in the water sample. The information gathered from the spectrometer is then transferred to a computer program, where each element is grouped together by water sample. This information is then uploaded to a web server, and the hobbyist is then notified of its presence via email or mobile app. Depending on the situation, these results can potentially make a difference in someone's aquarium. If you would like to learn more about the US-based ICP testing and login, head on over to icp-analysis.com. If you have any questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at coralv.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products. Until next time.